Right people, welcome back to the PwC channel. This week we are going to have another interview with our coach of the week. And this week, for week six, our coach of the week is none other than the beast from the southeast, the Bavarian Barbarian coach, Prof. Welcome, Prof. Can you hear me? Hi, what the fuck is uh, wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I thought of that one earlier today, the Bavarian Barbarian, I like it. I think if you were a boxer, this would be might be your your boxer boxer name. I like it. I like it a yeah, lot. I, I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, the reason Prof uh, got this nomination is obviously he didn't have a decent start to the season, one one. But after that, he really went on a tear. He won his last four matches in style. Um, I think he performed really really excellently in those matches. Uh, some of these matches were. Uh, some of the best performances, individual performances I've seen of a coach this season overall. So, yeah, and this week he actually beat DTN 5-0. So there was really no doubt that he's going to be our coach of the week. So yeah, um, we are going to do some random battles on the side, and I'm just going to click my first move if you're ready, Prof. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. So, um, and let me go straight into the questions. So, the first question I always ask people, um, because it interests me, is um, how did you get into Mons in the first place and when was that? So, not into competitive necessarily, but um, into Mons in general. Uh, when was that and how did you learn about it? Okay, so I think it was around third or fourth grade. Um, at the time I was like eight or nine years old and my parents bought me a Nintendo for Christmas mm -hmm. and what what kind of Nintendo was it? Um three DS. Alright. Ah, 3DS XL thing. And my first game wasn't actually Pokemon. It was fucking FIFA. I I, I don't know why but but, but yeah, I, <laughs> I had FIFA as a kid on Nintendo. Actually, on, on 3DS, I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, uh, me too, but uh, yeah, apparently it does. And after a while, um, a friend at school um, told me I had to get uh, Pokemon. I, I had no idea what it was. And yeah, he specifically told me what ex exactly version to get, what exactly starter I need to pick. and. Yeah. <laughs> then next time we went to a um, yeah electronic shop. We yeah. All right. I got it and yeah. So <laughs> which uh, which um, version of the game would that be? Would that be uh, X and Y or Omega Ruby or? Uh, uh, Alpha Sapphire. Ah, Alpha Sapphire. All right. So you basically started with the same games as I did. So I started with um, with the original. G uh, Gen 3 titles and you started with the remakes, so that's interesting. I feel like a lot of people started with Gen, Gen 3 titles. Yeah. Alright, so um, which yeah. starter did you pick back then? Um, back then he told me to get a uh, Mudkip. Um, right. And yeah, that I think Mudkip, uh, I, yeah, I would have picked it uh, after all. Because I'm, this will maybe a bit uh, controversial, but I I don't like the design of Brookie or uh, or the chicken thing. <laughs> I forgot its name. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this this I think this is gonna be very controversial. I think I think a lot of people are gonna go yeah. after you for that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, why do you have wax quake, man? This is not good. I don't I don't like yeah. how this match is going. I think we are gonna we're gonna end this recording soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um yeah. All right. So my next question, uh, or did you want to say to add anything to that? No, no. All right. So my next question would be um uh which was your favorite gen so far of all the ma um pl games you've played, Pokemon games? Which one was your favorite? Oh, Cross Gen 8. No, it's just shocking. Gen 8 <laughs> sucks. No, I the the 
remakes, um, the Jump Free remakes, they they were they were my childhood. To be honest, mm. I was playing them for hours, and yeah, they all right they were pretty big. Yeah. All right, I like it. I like it. All right, so my next question uh, for you would be uh, the transition into competitive. So, how did you learn about competitive um, as a possibility? So, and when was that, uh, and how did you learn about it? Okay, so, I I think I got to the Pokemon Amino uh, when I was like in fifth or sixth grade, and. Yeah, before that, I saw a YouTube video about um, about one a German draft league. I I had no idea what uh, that was about, so I clicked on it and I pretty enjoyed it. I had no idea um, that you could fight with Pokemon like that. Yeah, that was what got me into Pokemon, pretty much. Um, I I think it was like. APL or something and yeah that was probably my uh, yeah, entrance to competitive and then after a while Jules opened up uh, his um, draft uh, not draft league ju just a Pokemon league it wasn't a draft league back then yeah all right that was basically it. All right, so so um, how much experience do you have at this point uh, with the game? I, I, I think that will be like five, five or four years. All right, all yeah. right. So that's uh, not even that much experience compa compared to some other guys. So, um, what was your favorite gen in competitive so far? I think you have uh, then seen only two gens, really, is that correct? You have seen uh, gen 7 or gen 8? Yeah, yeah, but um, I think um, because I replayed the uh, past gens uh, also on showdown with like, some matches in use there. Uh, Think it would be. Uh, I, th I think it would be Gen Gen Six maybe because of the introductions, I guess. Mm. And, uh, just uh, they're pretty amazing. They they look so much better than like uh, usual mons. Well, except for Mega Mega Manetri. Just looks like shit, but uh, the rest. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. So uh, my next question question for you would be: um, Do you have a favorite mon to use in competitive play? Mm. Um, against you, Vespi Queen. Against all <laughs> others, I think um, maybe maybe Mega Medicham. Because it's like uh, uh, Medicham or Milotic. Milotic that, that is like. Oh, awesome. yeah, that's that's gonna trigger a bunch of guys that you yeah. like to use Milotic. Mega Medicham is, is, is so funny. It's like high jump kick. If it would have close combat, I, I think I would, have, I would enjoy it even more. But uh, yeah, uh, high jump kick is also pretty fine. Okay. Melodic, I, I think Melodic is <laughs> it's just too funny. Always, always play with it, and yeah, it's a good mod. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, we are we are definitely gonna gonna get into the into the Vespi, Vespi Queen topic later. Trust, trust. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna gonna ask you some question about it. Uh, Prof has got uh, somewhat of a love affair with with Vespi Queen. He thinks it's thinks it's the greatest mon ever, and yeah, we're gonna investigate that later. But for the time being, What's fucking <laughs> it. All right. For the time being, we're just gonna keep with the competitive questions. So, right, my next question for you uh, would be: Are there any mons that you consider completely underrated in competitive play? Um, 
that's your queen, of course. No, um, I think that um, there are some ones like um, mostly Trickmon, uh, uh, Trick Room mons. Mm -hmm. They are. I, I think they could be uh, ranked a bit higher. Like, I, uh, do you have an example? Uh, I I played uh, today on the ladder with Mega Bomber Snow mm -hmm. and Jirachi as a Trick Room setter. Mm -hmm. I, it, it was a pretty dumb idea, but in the end, I won like four out of five matches. Yeah, I, I think uh, that it, like yeah it doesn't mean Mega Bomber Snow is good. Don't get me wrong there, but um, yeah overall, some mons that rely on Trick Room could be treated more or Mega Garchomp. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think I think um, yeah, th those those are good picks in my mind. I think also think uh, Mega Bombers, especially under Trick Room, it's definitely a very good one. And obviously, Mega Garchomp, I think is especially in this league. I agree that it's criminally underrated in my opinion because it's in eight here, and still no one picked it up so yeah. far. I think um, Mike Haley, the replacement of DTN, picked it up now, but yeah. before that, it was completely yeah. overlooked in this league as a whole. So. And I hope you will get a sweep with Mega Garchomp plus one speed uh, with scale shot. Mm -hmm. the yeah, don't get him any ideas now. Just because you played against DTN already. <laughs> I still have to face Mike Haley, so don't get him any ideas. Alright, so um, the next uh, set of questions for me. All right, oh, we are still playing. We are still playing the random matches. I just completely forgot. Um, yeah, the next set of questions for me would be about this season of the PWC specifically. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have any goals for yourself? What are you? Uh, what are your goals uh, for this season of the PWC? Uh, my goal is to make it to playoffs and then. Uh, to defeat you, <laughs> that is my only goal. I, I hope I can reach that in the FPE. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, yeah, we're also there. All right. Well, so, so, so yeah. that's obviously interesting to me now. Why, why me specifically? What did I ever do to you? All right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm I've always been um, nice to you. <laughs> I've never beaten you. That is like biggest problem never beaten you um like there are some other uh, people i've never beaten like jewels but um you've never beaten was, jewels uh, what's wrong with you yeah yeah i don't know but our last fight wasn't like i don't know season two or something or season three and yeah i think there he gave me a free win so i don't know so uh, but I, I think I can beat Jules, but I've never beaten you in like our last, like every fight mm -hmm. um, before. And yeah, I hope I reach that goal at least. All right. So yeah, obviously I, I, I can't wish you all the best, at least for one of your goals. So I'm always gonna try to keep that streak alive <laughs> against you, but we'll see what happens. All right. So, um, wh who do you think, um, apart from, don't lol at me in the chat. What's wrong with you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, who do you think uh, are some of the favorites uh, to win this season of the of the PWC? Apart from yourself, um, obviously. You. I, I think you. Mm. Um, you then maybe Karakasa and uh, last spot. Maybe jewels. Um, yeah, but I think uh, mainly you because you have like one of the best teams. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think also. I th also think my not not to brag or anything. Obviously, because I mean, team is also luck and draft. But I think this team that I have is is one of the most broken ones I've ever had. Uh, so yeah, awesome. I'm, I'm also expecting expecting to definitely at least place well if if not win the whole thing so yeah we'll see what happens mm -hmm. yep. all right so that was pretty much all i want to know 
uh, for the time being about this season and uh, yeah then I'm gonna go into some more personal questions so yeah um, as we can see uh, your name in this league is Prof. I've seen you in other leagues. Uh, you were named No Idea. So, can you tell us anything about your nicknames? Does any of them uh, do any of them have a specific meaning for you, or are you just completely random by picking them? Or no idea. I I, I really have no idea what to name it so on Discord. That that's about that name. But um, Prof. On Amino, I called myself, I think, something with Professor Vaidal. And that's why everyone started calling me Prof. So I just yeah, gave myself the nickname there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that was basically it for Prof. But uh, yeah, I, I think I'm more. Uh, I like more being, yeah, called no idea instead of pro. All right, I think uh, for I, I've o only uh, seen you called prof, so that's always what I call you. But all right, good to know, good to know. So uh, now we're gonna go into the hot topic of the of the interview, for sure, which um, is your relationship to. A mon called Vespiquin, which, in my opinion, if you all right, we're gonna go at it uh, in a different angle. So, in my opinion, if I had to name the worst fully evolved mon in the game, <laughs> my answer would probably <laughs> be <laughs> would probably be Vespiquin. But you are such an adamant defender of that stupid bee. So, I want to or 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 I don't know what what uh, what is the English word of Vespe? Do you know? I'm actually not sure. Wasp. Wasp. Dude, you are completely. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, okay, right. So, so I'm retarded, as you can all tell. But, <laughs> yeah, all right. So, wasp. The stupid wasp. Yeah. Can you can you explain? D please defend. Please defend your your love affair with that thing. I do not understand it in the slightest. Okay. So, uh, first. Um, I thought Vespi Queen looked kinda cool, but um, yeah, I never really had the chance to pick it up and then I forgot it and that was back when I was only playing like just the games, not competitive, uh, in the competitive scene. And I think um, half, half a year ago or something, I remembered, uh, yeah, Vespi Queen, that, that one exists. And I looked up its, its stats, and yeah, I, I thought, hey, it, it got some pretty decent stats. Uh, let's try it out. And yeah, that is basically why I, th why I, um, yeah, have this little obsession with Vespi Queen, um, because I think for um, last tier mon, it, it's pretty solid, uh, and I, I always play it. Or I always want to pick it. Uh, just to fuck you up. I, I just love um, <laughs> when you like rage about this mod. I think it's fucking hilarious, man. It's fucking hilarious. All right. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, it's just that uh, is why I love just your mean <laughs> streak once again. Yeah, I think um, honestly. Uh, so another question uh, that interests me. So what do you have a you said earlier that w some of your favorites are Mega Medicham, for example, but now that it's obviously not Vespiquin for you, what would you say mm -hmm. is the worst fully evolved mon in the game that you can pick of all the, I don't know, a thousand mons, something like that, that we have now? Do you have do you have a choice there? Uh, uh, let me... Wait, give me a sec. Um, I, I don't really... But, but I know it sucks ass. The thing that looks like Donald Trump, you know? Ah, uh, the, the um, gum shoes? The Is it gum shoes? Yeah. The Gen 7. Yeah, gum shoes. That's yeah, 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 yeah. I think I, I, that that was a very good description. It, it definitely looks a little bit like Donald Trump. <laughs> I Actually, I don't even know what it does. Doesn't it get like... 
Does it get like adaptability or like something? Doesn't it get adaptability or something? Yeah, it gets that. It also got strong jaw and has 110 attack, but I hate the, I, the, the design. It just, but this, this thing looks fucking disgusting. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I think, I think it's one of the uh, one of you the. You know what the sad thing about this is? Uh, Gumshoes was my first shiny. Oh, that is. Uh, <laughs> that is <laughs> All right. You know this is why you can't beat me. You know you probably might have had a chance to win this match, but um, uh, yeah, the, the the flinch comes to the rescue. Completely well deserved win by me as always. All right. Yeah, you were just uh, about uh, the story with your first shiny. Yeah, gumshoes. I was trading on like some random. Yes, I was training. I was training uh, on in Gen Seven, my team. Uh, and then after a while, there was this uh, gumshoes. It was fucking pink. I was so fucking disgusting. And yeah, that is. I I'm not pretty happy about that. Um, <laughs> Gumshoes, I, I hate it. It ruined my first shiny uh, experience, and yeah. Alright. <laughs> That's about Gumshoes. Okay. So yeah, I, I can't really agree, honestly, uh, personally, with the with the choice of Gumshoes, because I think uh, just the fact that it gets the, the very good ability um, means that there are better man mons in the in the game still, but obviously that's a fine cho choice still. So, um, one other question about um, the league or the server as a whole. So, this is one that I wanted to ask you. So, if you had to ch a choice, you could 6-0 anyone on the server, no matter who. Uh, who would you pick you. and why? Why me? I never did anything to you. I'm always nice to everyone. How can you hate me? Yeah, I know. That is, that is, you are the strongest, um, you are the strongest, um, you're basically the strongest trainer I've ever met, um, oh, oh, no, 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 you're, no, you're ju just being, no, you're, I don't know, <laughs> I'm blushing no, over I here. Chance, I Sorry? Totally go, if I had the chance to 6 or you, I would have totally gone for it, because, um, I mean, I, the other ones, I, I, I can't 6 or them. If if I get lucky, but I think I will never six all you if I have the chance. Mm, uh, you're gonna get yeah. plenty of chances still. I think you're gonna have a chance in FPE most likely. I think. Don't tell Silver, but I think you're gonna you're gonna win that semifinal. But yeah, um, and obviously you're gonna still probably have a chance in playoffs in the in the PWC. So we'll see. I think at some point it's gonna happen. You're definitely gonna beat me. I mean. Um, if I can say yeah, if I can say that yeah. myself, um, just real quick, I think uh, so some of that is maybe a little bit of a mental block, but obviously it's it's gonna happen at some point. I mean, you're you're one of the stronger players um, of all the leagues we're in. So, uh, and uh, as you can attest to, there are games that I actually lose, so it's gonna happen eventually. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for the compliment. Obviously, I'm I'm happy about that. All right, so I, yeah, sorry, didn't want to interrupt it's you. A, it's a fact. It's a fact. Fact approved. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So um, actually, I think that was about it uh, for of questions from me. Uh, do you have anything that you wanted to get off your chest uh, as your closing words? Maybe a little message to oh, someone. Or uh, what was your what was your hardest match this season so far? G guess J just guess. What what the hardest match was? I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna count the Kara Kesa match. I'm just gonna leave that out for now, uh, just because I know that's the only one you lost so far. 
but apart from that, hmm, let me think. Mm, I, think I think it's it would probably be something like um the match against KW Dog maybe. I think that was a uh, was something uh, like was pretty close, wasn't it? Maybe. But um to be honest, I was more afraid against Tenchi, not because it's Really? Tenchi, All right. More likely because of its of his uh, Carter. I was shooting myself about Nemo. I had mm -hmm. a big problem. I only had like Arcanine with the um, uh, anti ground berry, and that was my only plan. Then burn it and hope that um, it doesn't crit Jelly Sand. That that was basically my plan against this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, not Tenshi. Um, yeah, I, I, <laughs> we are gonna we are gonna I, take I, that I, quote to the bank. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Make that the headline. Yeah. Please do, man. Please do. No, but I, I hate playing against Mammoswine because every every card of mine is is weak against Mammoswine. Fucking hate. Hmm. All right. Yeah. So, I think those might be the closing words for this interview. Uh, I think should we should we just um, finish up this random match and call it a day afterwards? Yeah. I mean, I could scream some random Nazi bullshit. Oh yeah, yeah. Obviously, you you can you can you can uh, definitely endorse your ideology on here. I think um, I think uh, Frank might be <laughs> Frank might be a communist. Do you have anything to add to that? Are you maybe I don't know. <laughs> no, actually, actually, <laughs> I take back everything I said. I I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna get our channel banned now that we are finally active on it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah all right um le let me just say that uh it seems like your random battle skills seem to be quite lacking you seem to always get completely trash teams <laughs> look look yeah, at it like i i only get ubers uh, or something along those lines and you just get complete trash here only Dude, i <laughs> missed like three fire blasts and Two fucking strange teams. What the fuck is this? Yeah, this is honestly. This is just uh, appears. Uh, it's it's like Frank does says. Um, you need to be good to be lucky, and lucky to be good. So, yeah, that's that's what I always tell myself. So whenever I get lucky, it's just uh, um, an indication of my incredible skill as a player. So I don't want to hear anything bad about about that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, don't um, you don't you dare wish up the reason now. I'm just, you know, I'm gonna kill it with a crit, freeze, freeze dry. Oh fuck! This thing is <laughs> <it's> annoying <laughs> as shit. <laughs> you, so, um, but, um, oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's <laughs> you, motherfucker. <man. laughs> you know, you let let me let me quote my boy once again. You need to be. Whoa, what what are you doing? That was not the deal at all. How dare you! We don't thaw out here. All right. This is looking like a replay of the Kurab versus Nicky Nator match, where Kurab just uh, completely wrecked Nicky Nator. But yeah. Yeah, if you think so. Um, but what did I wanted to say before you fucking freezed me, man? Damn, I hate you. <laughs> here. All right. <laughs> Die, go die. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, stupid ability. Stupid ability. Stupid. Let you get the chance. Alright, let me get another three hits, please. What? Yeah, no problem. Just six hits in a row. Three hits on Triple X, guys, <laughs> and he thinks he's a player. <laughs> Yeah, that's I that's mean, what I that's what I'm talking about. Just a just a hit on top sweep, just a hit on top sweep to close out the episode. That's that's exactly how I like it. Yeah, you know I'm gonna you know I'm gonna store you out of PP now, right? You know I'm gonna crit you now, right? Nah, you're not. Fuck. Also, I'm already burned, so 
no chance of that happening. Oh, uh, you know, a crit freeze, I would have really appreciated a crit freeze at this point. Alright, this seems to be GG, pretty much. Yeah. Let me just, let me just roost up, just for good measure once. Alright, I think this is not gonna work. <laughs> Damn you, oh man. no, damn. damn you. How dare you? Alright. I think I think I'm gonna have the good graces to reveal my last mod now. Uh it, which is it will be fucking Uber. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 like I, I think I have like five OU mods. Oh no, actually I only have three or so, but yeah. Your team is complete oh, trash. Oh damn! The, the battle what Did the you <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you can see, as you can see, guys, our coach of the week for week six displaying displaying some very poor sportsmanship just at the end of this interview, uh, just showing his true colors in the end. Yeah, yeah. So, Prof, uh, congrats once again on your on your fantastic season so far. Keep doing what you're doing, and uh, thanks for this interview. It was a pleasure. And yeah. Maybe yeah. No problem. Maybe uh, we'll meet again in playoffs. Maybe. Hopefully, man. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Alright. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next episode. <laughs>